Hello and welcome to Salters Lane, the home of Faversham Town, for coverage of the 2015 Kent FA Boys Under 13 County Cup Final, sponsored by Europa Sports. This final brings together Bromley and Maidstone United. If the scoring prowess of these two teams in the previous rounds is anything to go by, we could be in for a hatful of goals today, as the combined total of goals scored by Bromley and Maidstone so far this season is a staggering 53. En route to the final, Bromley have beaten Bredhurst Juniors, Seven Oaks Town, Ebbsfleet United, Rustall and Welling United. Maystone have had to overcome Fleet Down United, Meridian, Thamesview, Cuxton 91 and Belvedere to cement their place here today. And in doing so, they conceded just one goal and that was in their 4-1 semi-final win. And a shot from the edge of the box and a great save, Hinge with the shot. Sinek with the save, low down to his right hand side and that's a corner for Macy United, the pressure started to come for the Blues now. Switch across and a shot from the edge of the area, deflated and it falls to a spinner, but the flag is up and it's offside, Bromley thought they'd taken the lead. Pumps it deep into the box and the flag goes up again and closed down by Hinge, the big centre forward for Maystone giving a bit of problem to Thorpe there, Hinge into the box, onto his right foot, but well defended, good defending by the tall centre back from Bromley, but the referee's given a penalty! In fact it's not the change again, but it's, oh it's put wide! Hinge puts the kick wide, the number nine took it in the end, So Bromley have a second uh, breath now and here's Ospina, Ospina drives into the box onto his right foot, pulls it across but blocked and won again though by Ospina and causing a lot of problems is this lad up front for Bromley. Maystone get the men round him and they concede a throw in at the last moment. Gashi on the ball there but dispossessed by Maystone, only comes out wide and the ball's centred early and a speculative effort straight into the hands of Volcard in the uh, Mason United goal. Struck left footed and a goal towards the top corner but well saved by Sinek. Second chance to play the ball in and it comes flicked on by a white shot and again Sinek oh, puts the ball onto his far post. Ball delivered in now from the left hand side. Delivered low into the two man wall, well defended. And that's a rush challenge on the just inside the area. Is it inside or outside the area? The referee's well placed but I think he's given a free kick rather than the penalty. So again a two man wall facing up to this free kick on the left hand side. Clipped to the far post and tipped over the crossbar by Folkard. Delivered into the box of the penalty area. Oh in fact that was uh, Gashi with the volley there. That cleared from the back from Bromley and Ospina using his strength, his height. Ospina one on one into the box just to keep it a beat but Folkard comes out. Stones with his first, their first opportunity of the second half here. Ball clipped in from the left, hit well, but headed away nicely by French there. Shot, oh, and a good shot on the turn by Hinge, but again, Sinek in the Bromley goal with another comfortable save. Seven minutes into the second half, corner for Mason United on the right hand side, hits in the near post, but cleared comfortably by Bromley and they look to break now a nice ball up to their danger man Espina. Espina has a one-on-one -on -one here with Matthew with Marshall he cuts inside Marshall keeps going with him but there's a spin a great shot and what a goal for Bromley they've taken the lead in this under 13 cup final they've broken away from a Mason United corner and it's a spinner in the eighth minute of the second half makes it Bromley one Maidstone United nil Ball finds Juggins, Juggins goes into the area, party it through, there's our Tefe, he's got a chance and the keeper comes out and makes a good save, sit up there with a, coming out to the feet of the Mason striker, our Tefe, who's a spinner, knocks the ball through for MB and has he got the speed and the strength now to outrun Potter in the Mason defence, he gets a shot across goal but that's comfortable for Focard, Sanders is the man that's addressing the ball and he hits the ball low round the three man wall and there's Hinge in the area and he gets a shot up that's blocked and half cleared by MB 
centred in towards the spinner but headed away nicely at the back Bromley comes through there's a spinner with a chance can he make it 2-0 and oh, he's lifted his effort just over the bar as Focard came out to uh, close the angle down Bromley looking to go forward and Maidstone defending sensibly and here's a chance for Walsh on the left of the shot he's shot and he scores 2-0 to Bromley a left footed volley by Walsh strikes the inside of the near post beats Folkard in the goal Ball pulled back across the goal, and here's our Tafei and a great save by Sinnott. He's made some crucial saves at vital times today for Bromley. Walsh with the corner, comes in, headed away nicely by, uh, I think it was Walker at the back as Mesa come in. And a shot from the skipper. Oh, strikes the outside of the post as French with a great right footed shot. Knocks the ball into the channel, but Mason get numbers back. But there's a speeder, he's got a chance, 20 yards out. Low drive just wide of the post. Right there. Here's a spinner. He's chasing on. Goes outside of Petri. A spinner with pace. Petri trying to get back, but a spinner stronger, faster, cuts inside. Lays the ball off. Shot and saved by Focard. Great save. And just put wide of the post as Bromley came in at the back post there. Marshall tries to cover, but again the ball comes out wide. Here's Walsh for Bromley on the left hand side of the box. Checks back inside with a nice bit of score. Walsh squares the ball. The chance for Grison, but cleared away as Mason survive again. The shot across goal deflected behind, and that's another corner of the Bromley as we go into stoppage time at the end of this cup final. Plays the ball down the touchline. And there is the final whistle. It's all over here, the 2015 Kent FA Under 13 Cup final. The final score, Bromley 2. Mason United nil with goals for Bromley by Ospina and Walsh. Okay, okay. Off you